Asian men have long been stereotyped as unattractive, nerdy, and the butt of many jokes. Statistically, we are the least desirable of any race on the online dating apps, but what if I told you that there is a way to level up and stand out as an Asian man? Hi there, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Matty and I'm a new design male model. In this video, I will be sharing with you how you can glow up, level up, and stand out as an Asian man. Let's split this into three categories, facial aesthetics, physique, and style. So let's start with facial aesthetics. The face is the first thing that people see when they meet you. You wanna have good skin. You wanna have Korean glass skin if you're an Asian man. You wanna have skin that glows. You wanna be mostly acne and blemish free, although that is really hard. How do you get your skin better? Three ways. The first way is have a skincare routine. Now I've made a skincare routine video on my channel, so definitely go and check that out because I don't want to go into too much detail on this video about it. So I'll leave a link in the description below. But essentially you want to have like a face wash, a moisturizer, a benzoyl peroxide to target like spots on an individual basis, retinol, and SPF factor 30 at least, ideally factor 50. Diet is also important for skincare because if your diet is not very good, you eat McDonald's and Five Guys and KFC, which is delicious, by the way. I'm not cussing that out. It's delicious. But if you are eating those every day, then expect your skin to look oily, greasy. You're going to get breakouts. You want to aim for at least seven and a half to eight hours of sleep a night, at the very least seven. Next, we have hair, which I don't have very much of because at the moment, the buzz cut is in season for high fashion. When I did have hair, I had pretty decent, thick luscious black Asian hair. So you'll get a different haircut depending on your head shape or the vibe that you're going for. And of course, hairline as well. So if you have a very good hairline, you can get your hair cut short. You can show off a bit more of that hairline. If you don't have a very good hairline, you might want to kind of have longer hair so you can cover that lack of hairline. Generally, for an Asian guys, you don't have to worry so much about all these different haircuts that all these white guys and black guys have to worry about. For Asian guys, it's a two block haircut. So essentially short back and sides, and that generally works for most Asians and you want a little bit on the top. Or if you want to go down that K-pop route, you can have a little bit more on the top and have a bit of a perm. Next, we have eyebrows. Eyebrows are arguably more important than your eyes, right? So you've got to make sure that your eyebrows are pretty good. There's contrast. If you don't have the thickest eyebrows, you can use like rosemary oil, castor oil, or rapid brow. I wouldn't recommend minoxidil because that's like obviously a chemical and things can get kind of messy. You don't have to go out and get them threaded and shaped, but at the very least you need to be plucking the middle and below the eyebrow just to add like kind of that contrast, especially for Asian guys because in general we get we get lovely little hairs, sparse hairs like under the eyebrow. To shave or not to shave. Most Asian men can't really pull off a beard. There's very, very few. The only Asian supermodel who actually managed to pull off a beard was Godfrey Gao. For most Asian guys, it is not going to be worth it. A lot of people just can't grow a beard. It's just not worth me trying to grow a beard. And even when you grow a beard, it's just such high maintenance, it's just not worth it. Plus, if you have some sort of jawline, then you don't want to have a beard anyway, because the beard will hide the jawline. Right, so that's face. Let's move on to physique. So generally, Asian men are less blocky. If you look at the IFBB pros, none of them are Asian. They're all black mainly and then there's some white guys there's one exception to this like Chul Soon that bodybuilder the Korean bodybuilder he's massive he's on a lot of gears I think he still claims natural some of these guys claim natural and I'm just like liar we are slightly more streamlined if you look at like weightlifters that Asian Chinese weightlifter guy he's got a very aesthetic physique that's literally what you want to go for so you're like strong looking you have wide shoulders you have that V taper you have defined muscles you're lean you have abs it doesn't matter that you're not completely diced and shredded and huge and you look like Ronnie Coleman. That's not what you want to look like to be aesthetic and functional. The ideal body type is the aesthetic body, which if you check out a previous video that I made, it was on how to build an aesthetic body and you will get a free program. How good is that? How many YouTubers offer a free program on their video? You just need to go to that video, obviously watch the video so you know what's going on and what you need to do and then download the program which is on Google Drive. So essentially you want to train between three to four times a week. You want to do two upper and two lower, but the emphasis is on the upper body. The legs still need to be trained. You need to train them to get them strong. You need to be squatting, but otherwise you can do other things like lunges, knee extensions, leg press. So after you've been training consistently in the gym or with uh, calisthenics for about one to three years, you would have built a base, right? And I say one to three years because it, it kind of does depend on your genetics a little bit. Like if your genetics are a little bit better, you can get to your ideal physique within like one to two years, but if you need a bit more time, it can be kind of like 
towards three years. But after this point, it's like a rule of diminishing gains, right? So if you train more than that, you reach a point where your physique is like, it's not worth putting in the extra effort to get it better. From an aesthetic point of view, you already stand out after about two, three years of training. Ideally, you want to just keep pushing because that's what life is about. You want to keep being a better version of yourself. The final category is style. So that's like clothing and accessories. So you have kind of three subcategories. You have streetwear, e-boy, soft boy kind of look, K-poppy, that's dreadful K-poppy. And then you have like traditional modern menswear. If you're like a more masculine looking Asian man, then you'll go for that more modern menswear. If you have more of like a pretty boy or a K-poppy kind of like face, you might go for a bit more of a soft boy look. Let's start with streetwear. So you have a baggy top and skinnier trousers, or you reverse it and you do skinnier top and baggy trousers. Generally, you have darker bottoms and a lighter top. Things like jeans, polos, and turtlenecks work. And you can have some branded designs and logos. For the soft boy look, you want lighter colors, more neutral colors like beige, cream, and you pair that with jeans and maybe a set of sneakers, a set of like Adidas or Puma, some sort of Converse shoes. Generally, these tend to be more branded. There's more logos and designs. Now the final kind of style is modern menswear, which is the style that I try to emulate. This is where you can wear a suit, a shirt or a t-shirt. They tend to be darker, more plain colors, no logos and no designs, very simplistic. And it's like a more grown up look. It can be like a smart casual or it can be very formal. You also have a subcategory of that, which is like the bad boy leather jacket look, which is like a white t-shirt. And then you have like a leather jacket, which can be dark brown, black, navy. And then you have like dark jeans or dark chinos and like black boots. That also works really well. And that's like a subcategory in my opinion. Finally, you have accessories, which are not essential. Hence the fact that they are accessories. Well, hopefully you followed all these points and your style is already pretty on point, but then the jewelry like rings and necklaces will just add like an extra layer to that. So if you wear glasses like myself, to see far away, then you need to make sure that the glasses kind of, the frames fit your face. It totally depends on your head shape. So you need to go and do your research and go to somewhere where you could try out different frames and look at which one kind of fits you the best. So if you implement these things, then just watch as your life changes. Watch as you glow up, as you level up, as you stand out as an Asian man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found